Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday the 25th of January. I think I see Danny sitting way out there. Danny! <laughs> uh, that might be Abby. That's kind of a... I don't know if that's a Danny run. Is that a Danny run? That's a Danny run. Danny, what are you doing way over there? You are not in your property line anymore. No, that's Abby. Abby, what are you doing, huh? You are a goofball. Hey, don't, don't jump on me. <laughs> All right. Ah. I'm telling you, you can't tell them dogs apart. That is actually Danny. <laughs> you look just like your mom. Well, actually, Madison is your mama. All right, no buddy. Let's start our Friday. Well, little woman. Yes, I'm happy. It is Friday. Yes. Made it to work. Had one crazy thing right there, right at the end as we're taking the exit. It's oh yeah. Land yeah. That seagull. That's probably the one that dive bombs our pickup truck out here. We won't, we won't say anything bad about him today. Maybe no, he'll he'll have, <laughs> he'll have mercy. Mercy on us. All right, Mama. Oh. I'm gonna head on down and start my Friday. All right, try to catch you at the water. All right. Okay. Hope I can get that spider done. Oh. I'll get her done. Yeah. All right. All right. Love to see you, bye. Back on the old spider stator project. Kind of clean, you know, typical uh, Austrian <laughs> motors. Especially the older ones. The the twins seem to be the last of uh, these that have this trait of weeping oil. They always weep oil. KTMs, Rotax. But uh, since the 1330s and stuff came out, it, all that stopped. But anyway, uh, I it looks like I need to just double check. But it looks like I can get underneath here and get those out. With the lower screws. But let me turn the light on here. See the finned item right there? That's a regulator rectifier. You know, in a previous video, I showed you guys how you gotta pull the paneling off the other side. Well, with this lateral support and all this stuff out of here, I can reach right through that hole and unbolt that regulator rectifier so I can kill two birds with one stone without having to take the whole other side of the bike apart. And uh, because when you do it from the other side, you have to reach up and come over and get the bolts out. I'm just going to reach right from the top and take the bolts out. I'll probably have to kick that pan out to unplug. You can kind of see the couplers on the other side. But here's the stator wire. She runs around, snakes her way back over to the regulator rectifier. So the, the three phases of AC come directly out of the stator and go right to the regulator rectifier. Um, there's some exceptions to that, but 99.9% .9 of motorcycles with a stator do that. Um, stators, it's an oil bath. Um, it's just a magnet that spins inside of a stator coil. These, these are battery maintainers. Don't confuse these with a battery charger. It will charge the system, but... Uh, it's basically meant to maintain it. If it has an alternator like the 1330s have a 1250 watt automotive style alternator on them, those you can charge a battery. If you have a dead battery, jump it and drive along and just like your car, it will charge the battery. This greatly overheats one of the phases. There's three, three phases in here and uh, it will smoke them. Not, maybe not right away. You might get lucky a time or two, but you've weakened the system. If you have a dead battery in a stator, which most motorcycles are, there's no oil bath stator, you need to charge that battery. If, say you left the lights on, you know, at a restaurant or whatever, and it's just low enough, it won't start, and you got a good battery, you know everything's good, you know, you're usually okay with that. You know, if it's just low enough that it just won't turn over enough to start, that doesn't mean that you left it without a charger in your shop or barn or whatever. That's a different thing. That is a depleted battery. 
this, you know, when you leave the lights on and you catch it right away, that's that's a different deal. So, anyway, just some little things you need to know. This guy's got um, a third-party warranty that's taking care of this. This would be wholesale expensive if you had to pay for this. So, rider beware. All right, let me get back at her. Let me glove up and <laughs> get back into it. All right, so my uh, wishful thinking of leaving the hydraulic control module on there didn't work because I can't I can't get to the bolts underneath I couldn't figure out a way of doing it it, it would actually work but this cup um, that runs the uh, the oil pump and stuff in there rides on that hex in there it, it would be really tricky timing all that again so so it just needed to be done and it was a I was hoping I could take a little bit of a shortcut, but it's no big deal. I mean, it's just a handful of bolts. It comes right out. <laughs> All right, next thing, the stator cover. So my son Ryan's down here, and uh, he is waiting for me to pull this cover off. He goes, I want to see how burnt it is. He goes, you know the weirdest thing? I did a, a 660 Grizzly the other day, and all three phases were, were burnt. And he goes, and the stator didn't look burnt. So pull this thing off, it don't look burnt. So we like re-verified, you know, yeah, all three phases are shorted to ground. There can't be any resistance to ground. So of course, you know, we check the new one and it's no resistance to ground. But this is what the inside of the mag cover looks like on a 990 or 991 998cc Rotax V-twin motor. So uh, my advice to you is not pull this cover off to see what it looks like just refer to this video and just be thankful you don't have to <laughs> anyway she's uh she's out i just gotta swap the the um stator around there's a little something over there that needs to be ridden and here's the uh key to it this is something brand new i'll try to get a ride in on that before the rain comes doesn't look as nice down here in Vancouver as it does up north. Anyway, let me uh, proceed onward. I know the screen is really blue because I have my white balance lock. That's what you want to see right there. Charging 14 volts just sitting here idling. That's what you call a done job. I just got a whole bunch of bodywork stuff to put back on. <laughs> All this gaggle of stuff. Lord help me. But she's done. She's charging. She ain't leaking no, <laughs> she's no leaking no oil, which is always a positive thing. Job well done. That's it. Get some body work together and uh, call her a day. By the time I get that done, it'll be the end of the day. So since I've taken you guys through all this, might as well. Maybe I'll take you for a test ride. I was gonna say, might as well take you for a test ride. These are the old ones you gotta wait, 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 wait. Now I can hit the mode button, put on the brake, fire up. Mm, this could be interesting. Oh no! What? I threw the computer back. Oh, you did? Yeah. It won't take a second to pull it back out. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> Ryan had himself one of them uh, spoke bulletins. <laughs> My gas. Okay, we're good on gas. One thing about these twins, boy, they love to rev. They want you to rev them. They want you to keep it above 4,000. But if you're not used to... Uh, oh, I, I double tap the shifter. But if you're not used to revving bikes, um, that seems pretty weird to you. What are we doing? We're just stopping in the middle of the road? 
Turn signal would have been great. But, uh, anyway, yeah, the, you know, when the spiders first came out, we had a lot of people with Harleys and stuff like that turning them in to, uh, to uh, buy the spiders. And that seemed really weird to them to, to rev a V-twin. But these things, this, this base motor was used in the, uh, Aprilia RSV 1000s that were used forever. BRP was selling Aprilia. In fact, BRP, as far as I know, still makes and sells bikes or engines to Aprilia. I don't, I don't know that for a fact, but pretty sure they do. Seems weird to ride the twin. I'm so used to the 1330s. There's like a huge torque difference between the two go on and take a take a route through old orchards park here so uh, how's everybody's friday doing i know it's probably saturday by the time you watch this but if you reflect back on your friday how was it <laughs> What the heck? Oh, it's just a door open. Had a weird look with that door open against that pole. I'm like, is there something shoved beside that car or what? These uh, Rotax 990s is what, or 991 when it's the SE model. Just amazingly smooth. One of the counterbalancers is in between the two rear, you know, it's a dual overhead cam, between the two rear cams. And that also serves as a, uh, as a breather. And it has what they refer to as a, a mechanical oil purge, I guess you could say. That balancer is spinning and adds holes in it and the air from the crankcase pressure goes into that balancer but because it's spinning, it's just air. Now, if you grossly overfill one of these with oil, <laughs> you're gonna get, like any engine, you're gonna get more than just air coming out. But what a marvel idea. And it serves as another balancer. It's pretty wild, huh? But smooth? Holy moly, these V-twins are smooth. Now that it's towards the end of the day, it doesn't look like there's much threat of rain. Oh, I pointed out old Mount Hood sitting over there just a glowing, but there's an old Seca 2, the old 600 air cooled inline four Yamaguchi. Good old bikes, man. Them old things just absolutely live forever. I thought it was only fitting to uh, take you guys for a ride on it since I've been dragging you through this thing you know, off and on. <laughs> sure seems weird to have this different sound, you know. You're like, boom, with the old twin. Not to take anything from the triples, but twins do have a unique sound. I'm getting muddy. Got a nice airbox roar to them too, which is very pleasing. Heck yeah, it's nice as holy heck out here now. A couple little clouds floating around that might mist a little bit. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So I'll go upstairs to get a cup of coffee. I think that might be it sitting out there. It might be somebody else's. But I'll go upstairs to get a cup of coffee. And I'm just down there by myself today. And um, I go up and I 
talked to Ryan for a little bit. He was doing a bunch of BMW services today. And um, anyway, I come back downstairs and I walk in. And I mean, I'm alone down there. I walk in, and there it is, sitting out front on the other side of that Harley. Um, my rally's gone. <laughs> like, oh my God. I mean, just the shock comes over me. Oh man, it scared me. The Jesus right out of me. Well, Gordon, a bunch of our bikes are at the um, auto show, so he came down and stole my my rally demo to take a uh, customer on the Indian for a demo ride. She's all happy as a clam there, Ryan. She was dumping 14 volts out just sitting there idling. She's all kinds of happy. Good old triple black. I know, that's so weird. Yeah, that's what you were saying. She's a cooked goose. I was asking Rick about that upstairs too. And he goes, no, nah, I've never seen one stop burnt. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Did I guess something right? Oh, I had my meter back out rechecking going, oh, please. <laughs> She was, she was a donor, though. Let me talk to you guys later. Little woman? Yes, I'll have Look at them skies out there. Oh, man. 5.05 was sunset here in Banchulo. All right. I think it was 5.03 or something like that. And, but look at that. Our direction home looks wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's roll out. Nah, that's pretty right there. Man, it's um, kind of crazy busy out here tonight. Every single pump is full. I don't think I've seen that in a long, long time. A lot of traffic coming home tonight. There's a little woman coming this way. She's a moseying. <laughs> All right, fill the beast. What you talking, woman? Watch yourself. Well, hello there, YouTube. How's everybody doing today? Man, it's what a day. what a whirlwind day. Man, it was at one point I, I realized I'm not getting that spider done as fast as I thought I would. A little bit of panic there, but it all, you know, all went fine. Spider runs great. It's charging like a bandit. Guy's going to be happy. He's already been called. And, you know, he was planning on picking it up tomorrow anyway. But, uh, I was a little boy talking about down to the 11th hour there. I think I took off on that test ride at 4.30. Yeah. And the store is open till 6, so if something happens, I can stay, you know. Yeah. I don't, I mean, I'll stay if I need to, but I'll panic to get it done my normal time. No yeah. rushing. I have, like, one speed. So if I don't get it done, then I just have to stay longer. Yeah. I, it, you rush through stuff too quick and... That's that opens up Pandora's box, if you know what yes, I mean. Yes, it does. You gotta do it right. Do it right the first time. Mhm. Mm anyway, it's a good day. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. And um, I think we're gonna call it a night and roll on in. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I hope your Saturday or Sunday are wonderful. Thank okay. you. Weekend is here. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Bye-bye now.